everybody, it's Alice K. Ruckelhouse from Threshold of Hineni, and I'm ready to start on a new project. I'm really excited because um, I haven't started anything new for, well, no, I did. During December, I had orders and I had to do those, but just to have the freedom to do whatever I want, um, I, I haven't done that for a while. So what I'm going to be doing, and this is going to be for my um, designer team project for Penny Whittemore at That's Just Penny. Um, for January and um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to make a journal with lots of prompts in it um, this can be for somebody who just wants a little bit of guided journaling um, maybe for a teenager or somebody in college but it can also be for somebody older like me I mean I'm almost 60 and this kind of thing would be great for me it could be something that you work on occasionally um, or something that you just work straight through or whatever I think it'll be a lot of fun and so what I'm going to do is I'm going to provide a lot of small writing spaces to answer specific questions and hopefully those will also get you thinking about other things that you want to write in a regular journal okay so um, I'm using Penny's Autumn Garden kit and a digital kit and um, I know it says autumn but I think that's just because of the colors and there's some plants and some insects and stuff but I think this is good for any time of the year it's beautiful it's really really beautiful so I printed these out a couple months ago and so I don't remember for sure but I most likely didn't print out all the pages I usually don't use all the pages in a kit it might be but I usually don't so that's my guess um, so I've got these divided into two to three different groups and I'm going to go through these and then if we have time I'm going to start working on the basic pages that I'm going to be using so this first set of pages are ones that um, I printed out with the intention of using them for the pages of a journal but I'm not going to be using them this way in this because what I'm going to use for my actual pages are this packing paper that I've been collecting from a whole bunch of different boxes that come from Amazon and such okay so I'm going to be using these for other things and you'll see that in the upcoming videos but I just want to show you so I've got these printed back to back because I was going to use them as pages and so there's this and isn't that gorgeous I love this look at that dragonfly and the fruits and the snail I hate snails but this is a very cool looking snail I just think that's really neat I love the colors I like the way that it's kind of faded out here so even though it looks like somebody's journal or something that's been written on you can easily write on that okay and then I've got she's got this she's got a lot of pages that look like fabric or wallpaper or something look at this this is beautiful I love the bird the little pine cones all these things and again you know there's writing here but if you use a dark pen you could write over those that's really pretty okay and then this design I'm very partial to this one I really like this I think I want to paint something with something like that in it very pretty okay so I guess I did the same thing on both sides of this one um, and then this more like wallpaper looking stuff and there's the cabbage rose again and looks like rose hips or something not the right kind of leaves for rose hips I'm not sure what that is um, I don't know my plants very well I just admire them that's real pretty kind of a honeycombed look pumpkins again all these animals that we've been having against that background just just simply gorgeous very pretty very elegant love these colors don't you just love these colors and I've printed these on 24 pound paper that's what I've been using most of the time lately it's not too heavy but it's um, you know doesn't bleed through um, the glue if it gets a little hard behind it is not as likely to come through and make it bumpy and stuff oh, look at this. I mean it looks like somebody's garden journal it's so cool oh, I love that really love that if I was going to make a cover from this kit you know and print it onto some cardstock or something this is what I would use well, except that it's got the bird halfway over, that would be on the back. I'm not sure. But anyway, I really like this. There's that bird and the cabbage rose, a gourd, and the snail. 
so pretty. Okay, so then these next ones are things that I printed out on cardstock to use this card. And what I do when I print up my cards is I print, I, I reduce these. These aren't the sizes that they were. And some of these are things that I took, you know, like something from this and I just cut out a little part, cropped it out and put it, made it into a card. So these are all like resized and everything, but these are, are cards. And then what I do is on the back, I print something that's lighter that you can for sure write on. Okay, so this is, this is on cardstock and these are for cards and tags. I've used this on, a back of, on the back of a lot of them because I think it will be really good for writing on, although I did use it on the front of some too. So I think it's pretty. And if you hear funny noise, there's like some animal in my attic. My cats have gone up there to pursue him, but it might be outside actually, just in the eaves or something. That's really pretty. So these are tags. And then I printed this on the back of this paper. It's lined. So these go this way and you've got little lines there. I think that's really pretty. I love the shape of this. Now this is one that she had and I'm not sure if that's the original shape that she had or not. And then I took some of the pages and reduced those. So this will be like two tags. I'll just cut it right in the middle. And I've got this on the back. This may not be from her kit. I think this might be from Pixel Scrapper actually. Um, so more. I'll cut this one right here on the pages. I might even cut this one here to make it into a small tag and then a big card. This is going to make a nice big card, probably to use in the front or back pocket. And then I put some graph paper on the back of that. That is not from her kit. The graph paper is definitely from Pixel Scrapper. And then these make nice cards too. Graph paper is just, I use that a lot on the backs of cards because they're easy to write on. Okay, and then this is paper that I had printed up to use for pockets and stuff like that. So it's not printed on the back. Okay, and you've already seen probably most of these designs. We'll just look in case but I think that you've probably already seen these. I just used them again. And in some cases, I took the designs and blew them way up because um, they'll just be used in different ways. I'll cut them, cut them up. This, I think this is from Pixel Scrapper, actually. I'm not sure. I was trying to keep it to just her stuff. Some of these are printed on the back, so I think that's what I'm planning to use. Is that, this is one that I took and blew up and I'll just you know I'll cut whatever I need for pockets or belly bands or whatever this would make a great belly band that part right there I think that would be really pretty I will almost certainly do that yeah so you can see like I think I took this part and blew that up into a whole page or something really love this kit okay so anyway so that's that's that how far how much time do we have okay we still have a little bit of time so what I'm gonna do with these I haven't tried this before but I'm just kind of like I've kind of thought through what I want to do actually let's first let me put this away get rid of it these papers there we go okay and I'll show you too how I've been storing these when I print something out I store it into in a folder like this Okay, now these are pages from a hymnal that I've printed on, but those are not from her kit, so I didn't show those, but I'll use those someplace in here. And these just make really nice storage kits. I think I got this idea from Joyful Michelle for using these envelopes. They're really nice. You can get them in packages of like 30 or something from um, Amazon. So all I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna, I like the wrinkles, I'm not gonna iron it, but I'm gonna smooth it out, obviously. And there's like perforation along here. So I'm not sure if I'm going to tear it on the perforation or if I'm going to let the perforation be like part of the page. I think I'm gonna let it be part of the page. So probably what I'm gonna do is cut this up using my paper cutter into the sizes of pages that I want, which I think I want to be like, um, 
let's say like eight, eight inches tall by four and a half inches wide. So that means nine inches wide. Okay, so I'm gonna get my paper cutter and we can start cutting some pages. Okay. So let's put the width first, the nine inches. It's just too hard to work with such big pieces. Okay, so I'm gonna turn it this way so I can see what I wanna cut off. And I'm not gonna to try to make all of these exactly the same because I like my junk journals to be, um, you know, to have pages of different sizes. Okay, so we'll save this for using someplace. Okay, so this is gonna be nine inches because this is gonna be the width. So I'm gonna cut, wait, let me turn it this way. So I'm gonna get nine inches that. Here we go. And what do I have here? How much do I have? If I cut this part here off, I will have eight inches. So that'll be good. I'll have some pages that are smaller and I'm going to, I've got an uneven edge there, which I think is really nice. Okay. And now let's see about cutting these eight inches tall. I'm going to cut this way. I'm going to cut that off because it's really bent and having that right at the top, a bent part right at the top is not going to be helpful. Okay, so we're going to do eight inches. Let's see, let's turn this this way. <laughs> I always forget how I need to do this <laughs> to make it work. Bring it through here so I can use the measurements. Okay, so eight inches. This might be a little boring watching me cut all these, but... Okay, so it's going to be like... Is that nine inches? That's eight inches. Oh yeah, because this is a small one. Okay, so it's gonna be folded and there's a nice, there's that perforation there. Ooh, which I don't think I want that to be where I fold it because that will not work well for being bound. So I'm doing it right here, okay? And it doesn't have to be folded so that both sides of this are even. I mean, as it turns out, they are, but it doesn't have to be. Okay, let's cut another eight inches. Oops. Okay, so that's, I'm turning it this way. And here's where the perforation is. I don't wanna fold it where the perforation is, so I'm gonna fold it like this. Okay, so the perforation is right here. So I've made these two different size pages. So there's gonna be a small page in here, which is kinda of cool. Okay, I like to have all those different size pages, but I also might, have something that flips out from it. I don't know, we'll just see. Okay, so that's there. As I'm doing this, I'm thinking that I don't think that I wanna have like all my pages have perforations in them, so I may cut the next batch a little differently. Okay, and then where's the perforation on that? That's right there. Okay, so if I cut it, if I fold it like this, then the perforation is right there. I think that the per perforation adds kind of a nice texture to it. It's not really easily torn apart or anything. And then this will also be a nice, really small page like that. Okay. All right, so then let's take this part and Okay, well, this I've already basically cut to the height, so I'm gonna just go with this again. I don't want the perforation in the middle where I'm gonna bind it, so I'm going to make it come out this way a little bit. Now, I don't know if that's gonna be too much. Yeah, that's gonna be too much because I don't want this to be more than four and a half. So let's trim some off. Okay, so see, so this page is gonna be this far out and this page will be this far out, which is good. I like that. Don't want them to be even. When I use printed pages, I cut some off of some of them um, because I don't want them all to be the same height and width. I want them, in this case, to be within eight inches and four and a half inches when it's folded. Okay, and the perforation is right there, so that's a little ways in. Okay, and I think we can get one 
one or two more out of this and we may have enough pages from that. I usually go for about 13 sheets. If I do more than that, then it just gets too thick and it's hard to work with, hard to write in. It's not hard for me to work with in designing it, but it makes it too hard for somebody to write in. So I stick to just 13 at the most, but this paper is thinner. So I think we can probably go with 15 or 16 probably. So I'm gonna finish this and then we'll see how many we have. Okay, there we go. Is that more than, yeah, that makes it more than four and a half inches. So let's cut it off here. There we go. Okay, so let's see how many pages we have from that. How many sheets? We have one, two, three, four, five. You know what? I want the bigger ones on the outside. And I'll explain why in just a second. Okay, so that's one, two, three, four. Five, six, seven, eight. Okay, so I can still do some more. Okay, so the reason that I'm putting the wider pieces on the outside, you know, not on the outside outside, but on not on the very center, is because when you get to the center pages, they start kind of coming out here. And so I want the smaller ones on the inside there so that we don't have that problem. Okay, so let's do a little bit more. And this time I think I'm going to tear on the perforation. Ooh, or should I use some of this and have a different color in it? No, I think we're gonna stick with all brown. And also I have this. A friend of mine sent me a whole bunch of this and I love it. I'm just not sure how to use it. So if you have any ideas and you wanna share them with me, feel free to please in the comments and I'll try them out. Okay, this is cool. This is from a bag or something, I think. I like that stamping that's on it, the printing. How wide is it? It's five and a half, so we need to cut it a little bit. Oh, actually it's, oh, that's interesting. Okay, <laughs> it goes like this. Okay, so we can use that. Let's put that right here. <laughs> that's kind of cool, okay. So we need just a few more pages. So I don't want to get a big, huge piece here. How about this one? Oh, this has more of that. That's really interesting. Just like, yeah, I think one of those is enough. Okay, so let's get one of these here. Does this have perforation? Yeah. Okay, so this one I'm going to go ahead and tear on the perforation. Just to do something a little different. Where is the perforation? It's so hard to see it. Maybe it's not, here it is, okay. So let's go ahead and we're gonna tear it on the perforation here. And I'll save this, because I can use it for lots of different things, both in this journal and in another one. Okay, and where's the next perforated area? Right here. Now, it's tearing really easily when I'm pulling it apart, but it does not tear unless you do that. So I think that's gonna work just fine for those other pages. They're not gonna come apart unless somebody intentionally pulls at it. Okay, let's see how many pages we get from this. Okay, in fact, what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna cut two at a time. Let's cut off this end piece first because it's folded. I don't want it folded. Okay, and then let's see how tall these are. These are eight and a half, so we're gonna need to cut off a little bit of it here. So let's, what do we do, eight inches? Okay, so we want eight inches tall. Okay. So this will be for the height. So we're gonna make these all, I'm gonna make it just a little bit smaller than eight inches because I don't want them to all be the same. Okay. And then we want nine inches wide because that gives us four and a half inches. Okay, so 
So this one we're actually going to do it four and a half because it's folded in half right there. Okay, so that's a page. And then how wide are these? They're more than nine, so we're going to trim off just a little bit here. We're going to make it nine inches. Okay. All right. Great. That's wonderful, I think. Like that. And so I think that this is a good stopping place. I'm going to go through and go ahead and crease all these so that they can be made into a book. And I may rearrange them a little bit. And I will see you in the next video. I love you all. Bye-bye.